Hello friends and welcome back. In the last video you have seen on how to create the database source name and in this one you're going to see on how to connect to the database by using the PDO. To connect to the database we are going to create a new file that will be needed to connect to the database and we need to include that file every time we need to connect to the database. So let's go ahead and see how we do this. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this as PDO connect dot php and this is will be now the file that we will be including on every page that we are going to do or the every page that we are going to need in our applications and to help us to connect to the database and while this file is created i'm going to open the php tags and close it right here and inside the tags i'm going to go ahead and copy the dsn the specific dsn that we will set according to the database that we made and i'm going to paste it in here and once I have the DSN, I will think about the other parameters that will be needed while I want to connect to the database. We will need what we call username. We will need the password. Also, we will need also the DSN. And I'm going to use a simple approach on how you can set this up by using the variables. But I will do this as a beginner practice and I will show you on how to handle those logins in the coming videos as we will be having a clear overview on how this works. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call this username. And I'm going to put loot as my username as it is now my username. I'm going to create another variable uh, under here. I'm going to call this as a password. And as I'm having no password on my database, I'm going to put empty string like this one. And the DSN, we already have it on here. So I'm going to move this comment up here so as to be able to identify uh, about the DSN. So to connect to the database, we will use the PDO connect method. And it will be like this one. I'm going to call uh, to create a variable. I'm going to call this DB. And the, uh, this DB will be equal to new. I'm going to put PDO like this one, as that's how it will be written. And it will create a new object, which is now the PDO object. And inside the inside here, this is where we put some of the parameters. And the first parameter will be the DSN. The DSN. The second parameter will be the username. And the third one will be the password. And in this case, we'll be able to create this a uh, new object and it will be the one that will be a uh, the connect object that will be, be used to connect to the database. I hope you have seen on how to create this connection. In the next video, we're going to see on how to check if now the connection is successful. So stay in touch.